This is the, uh, s the cemetery where uh, Daniel Webster is buried, Green Harbor Cemetery in Marshfield. And there's a marker, or as they say in New England, maca, yeah. of the original settlers of Marshfield. And it isn't Tom Moore, although uh, he probably I'm has... I'm going to read it for you. In memory of the early settlers at Green Harbor, Marshfield. And here we have the house where we just were, John Phillips' house and his wife Grace, and what does it say below that? William Shirtley. Uh-oh. Right. Shirt left. Shirt but, left. But uh, in those days, they didn't standardize the, uh, the various names. And his wife Elizabeth, which is spelled correctly. <laughs> well, thank you, Tom, for uh, this your great historian that you are. Tell us about Daniel Webster. Well, we're just about to walk over there. Well, let's walk over there. I promise you won't get motion sickness with the camera here, but... Yeah, you can see the whole... Uh, they're keeping the demons off of uh, Daniel Webster there. And Daniel Webster was a a born in Franklin, New Hampshire, 1810, Tom, somewhere around there? Uh, I believe 18, I believe this, yeah, I'm going to say somebody. before that. I well, we'll find out. Yeah, It'll maybe. say on his grave, right? <laughs> and he died in 1852, uh, the same year he ran for president. That's right. Unsuccessfully, of course. 1782. Here we go, he did a little... Mm -hmm. Daniel Webster, born January 18, 1782, so died. Before the Constitution. As Camp Constitution people know, we were under the uh, government of the right. Articles of Confederation at that time. Lord, I believe, help thou mine disbelief. Philosophical argument, especially that drawn from the vastness of the universe in comparison with the apparent insignificance of this globe, has sometimes shaken my reason for the faith that is in me. But my heart has always assured and reassures me that the gospel of Jesus Christ must be a divine reality. The Sermon on the Mount cannot be a mere human production. This belief enters into the very depth of my conscience. The whole history of man proves it.